Hey guys, sorry about that. Derek screwed everything up. I'm just gonna throw his ass under the bus. Um, is it back on? All right. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna really get through. Every, I don't know where I left off. Um, you were talking about the epaulette tea. And yeah. Oh, sorry. So what I was gonna say about the epaulette tea is, is that when you have a thing that's really simple, like just a men's sweater, whatever. When you put it on over this, it actually that's gives you like I'm, your cool faux. That brings me to, you my, have that? to my next sales pick. Let me see. Because it really gives that, that shape without having to like go, you know, and actually buy. So this is real the Eco Poplin Slim Men's Shirt. Oh, and I just nice. like how it kind of gives yes. a little bit shoulder, but I don't feel like a football player. I just no. feel like I'm getting I would strong. Not have you on my team? If I were playing football, I would not. <laughs> okay. Divi, yes. Um, and then I'm just tucking it literally into the jean to show you guys, but I really feel like there is a multitude of ways that you can wear this. Um, and I just like that. I like having a shirt or like a fine knit on me kind of all throughout the summer, um, no matter where I am, because yeah. you kind of never know how to manage an office with different temperatures and um, if you're out at a restaurant you know I might bring this to the beach as a cover-up but for yeah. me like specifically with the shoulder pad tee um, I kind of love how it just gives it a little bit of like something extra and what size are you wearing in this this is a small okay so this is a small so you guys can see you know Sarah she'll wear like from a XX small to you know whatever size is available totally one of the reasons is the samples are in a size small but you can see that this is something that like she loves I mean you would wear this in this size without a problem oh and yeah if it were an extra small you would take it oh totally I mean I also very much am not focused on size but focused on the fit like whether that's the intended fit or the fit that I'm looking to achieve yeah. um, so typically with um, menswear inspired like Oxford shirting I do size up just because yeah. I think it offers a little bit more versatility um, but the epaulette tee that I am wearing is an extra small and then to go on with my white look I'm wearing my white Sam jeans and those are 25 right these are 24, oh, 24. Um, okay. and they fit me exactly how they're intended this definitely sits like nice and low nice and low um, and I literally love this jean. I wear it all the time. Um, but the white, especially right now, is what I'm definitely feeling. And you know, I'm also open to um, the brancusi. The white brancusi, which was another pick for me, um, just to diversify my wardrobe. So when you guys are looking at sizing, when you have pieces that have been designed and engineered to be oversized. Those are the pieces that have the most flexibility in terms of how it's going to fit. So if you feel like you're between sizes or whatever, you're really not gonna go wrong going up or down. Because when you've got a shirt that is already this big on your, you know, meant to be this oversized, as you get a little bit bigger, it goes like that. Where you will really need to pay attention to the sizing is when things are designed to be fitted to the body. And you can recognize something that's fitted to the body because on the model, It'll be fitted, first of all. Um, but you'll also see like lots of extra seams and everything. So when you have all those seams, if you buy it too big or you buy it too small, it can be much more problematic. So one of my favorite pieces here, what I'm wearing, and I'm gonna go put on some of the shirts, um, but I'm wearing the brown trouser skirt. I always, um, this one is designed to hit a little bit lower on the waist. Um, I am just choosing to wear it higher today. I find for me personally when I'm wearing something a little bit lower on the waist and it's fitting with like just that much skin left here, I find that um, if I'm wearing a boot, I really like that, but somehow if I've got skin and okay. a flat showing, I prefer that it come up a okay. little bit higher. So that's, that's just my thing. Um, and then I'm wearing the Punta Milano t-shirt here in the blue and this shirt has quite a lot of body to it so it has the mock neck and then it comes out on the sleeve 
there have been times too, like if I go out to dinner and I don't want something hitting me on the cap, sometimes I'll just roll it under like that and then it just creates a whole different look. So it really is like what you're going for. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing I wanna show you before I ditch the skirt is one of the great things about the skirt is this skirt is falls into the category of a 12 mower. So it's great for 12 months out of the year. So, you know, in the fall time, this is then the perfect skirt mm -hmm. to wear the brown Freddie boot with. And this is, um, I know that the store in New York has a few pairs of the brown Freddie left, so these are not on sale on the site, but if you reach out to the store, they are on sale there. So anyway, so this becomes a great, you know, skirt for like year round. I think also like if you think about the fabrication, it, I mean, the cotton twill really is meant to kind of like replicate a more utilitarian fabric. Yeah. So if you think of like a Carhartt or Dickies workwear, like there's really are just like, such universal fabrication, um, which is why I also think it works year yeah. round. Yeah, and I also think, you know, even for like a, a more dressy office, this oh, is totally sure. fine with, I wouldn't wear a t-shirt, maybe I'm gonna wear like a crisper shirt with it. But anyways, it's a good, it's a good skirt, so. Um, cool. well, why don't you stand up, yeah. Stella? Yeah, I'll pop in. All right. Now that I'm here. Hi everyone, I'm Stella. So <laughs> these are my uh, sale picks, these are both spring. This is the cotton linen sateen pleated culotte and then the crispy cotton uh, cut out pullover. For me, and I've touched on this before, I'm a 20 something, mm -hmm. living in New York, uh, working in fashion. So for me in this stage of life, it's not like super realistic to jump on sale and buy like some crazy novelty item. If I'm gonna jump on the sale, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have in my closet for a really long time. Totally. And something that I know is gonna take me uh, a number of places. I am wearing this to the office. I'm wearing this with, you know, an easy slouchy jean on the weekend. Um, I'm wearing these out at night with like a little tube top, you know. Totally. These can go a thousand different ways. Totally, and I think to that point, a lot of people think that investment pieces really have to be that kind of like, classic neutral like black white gray but I do think that these together are neutrals and totally. and colors that are really like I think 100 green or Carson green is very evergreen and um, this mint green is something that we've been seeing now it's something that we have in some upcoming collections so it's definitely something that we'll be seeing around the office um, and you paired it with the metallic orange the Rudolph. metallic Rudolph just for a little pop because I feel like I'm very one up here, mm -hmm. uh, but then I feel like, you know, the orange kind of brightens everything up and it just feels really fresh in the eye. Totally, I mean, I love the different textures also with the metallic, with the knit, with the cotton set, with the linen sateen. Um, yeah, it's a good look. Go get them, they're on sale. Look, look who's here. Teddy's Teddy. here, hop on in there, Teddy. Ready. Amy, do you want to speak to Teddy this way? Yeah. Well, no, I love it that you guys are like 20. Oh, like. Teddy and I are in the same story. Look at the height difference. <laughs> so, yeah, someone asked how tall I am. This is how tall. Um, five feet. Thing. How tall are you? Yeah. Six, two. Six, six, two. Six, oh, wow. This is fun. Um, <laughs> you guys look so <laughs> short. Oh my god, we're literally both wearing bands, too. <laughs> Wait, was that planned? No. no. We just sit, we sit across from each other, and so I think sometimes... It's telepathy at this point. Yeah. Can you yeah. compare the colors here? I have a lot of questions sure. on the colors of the navy and the blue. Um, what is this blue called? Does anyone know? It's not um, cerulean. I think it's literally, it is cerulean. Like I, think cerule it is cerulean. I think it is cerulean. Um, how? I yeah, know. so the navy that Teddy's wearing is almost like from a distance you could think it's black it's a very yes. midnight navy because some people have said that on the side it looks a little brighter than no the navy that teddy is wearing is definitely a true midnight navy um and i think this really is more of your like cerulean varsity blues jacket um and 
Teddy and I are both wearing the Sam jean. Um, mm -hmm. Mine are cuffed because I'm not 6'2". <laughs> and we are, we are both wearing it mm -hmm. with the same sneaker, likely not the same size, but not sure. And then, Teddy, why don't you talk to us about the Kate Cashmere Mini T? Sure. So I am currently wearing the Kate <laughs> Cashmere Mini T, which is currently my favorite top that's on sale. Um, this is for sure the incorrect size for me, so I would definitely size up. However, I do think everybody should have this in this closet, in your closet. I think it's a good staple. Totally. You could pretty much dress it up, dress it down. And it's so, it's so rich that I think what's really great about this yarn and the cashmere to let you guys know is this is not a cashmere that, um, that you would just find on the market because when you feel it, it is so substantial. And what it is is, it's 99.5% cashmere, but it's applied with a lycra yarn. And what that lycra ply does is it makes it super gutsy. So sometimes if you're buying a thinner t-shirt like this, so even though you're like, okay, this is a size too small or two sizes too small, yeah. the thing is, like, it's, it doesn't kind of look it because it's, this, the lycra makes it so sturdy. And sometimes if I'm wearing a knit and it's really fitted, mm -hmm. you know how it'll show like, it'll even show like the outline of your belly button. And if I saw you, I'm like, you have no belly button. <laughs> Which, like, I don't want to see your belly button uh -huh. in a knit, no. you know? Like, so, anyways. But it's good, I really like it. Yeah, it looks great. And it's super um, breathable, surprisingly. Yeah, well, natural fibers are so good for that, so. All right, cool. Thanks, Teddy. It's like looking in the mirror. I know. <laughs> and you can bring in the next person. Um, so here is one of our sale items. So this is the Slim Men's shirt, and it is in this plaid. And when I'm wearing something that airs a little more to the classic side like this, then of course I love wearing it with something that is a bit oversized. So the Sam jean here, this is part of our fundamentals. This is not on sale. But um, for me, styling wise, this is not something, I would never wear this with like a skinny jean or anything like that because when we talk about big slim skin in terms of proportions, I would feel very slim all the way. So when I'm wearing this, this is the slim moment and then I've got on the big jean and then I love having the skin with the toe popping out and um, the Amiri sandals are not on sale either, but this like, you know, a lot of you guys I know have these two pieces already, so this makes the extra good piece. And then um, what's great about this top is it does have the high slit. Mm -hmm. And then a few of you guys asked me how we do the trick of buttoning in the back and to give a slimmer look up front. And it's something, I wouldn't normally wear this with a low jean, so excuse my stomach here. But what I'm gonna show you is, if you leave it unbuttoned to like the second button, let's just pretend like my jeans are up higher. Are we, do, I, do we have like a clip? Um, actually, oh, let yeah, me. I see one. Do you, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the buttons here, right? And I'm just gonna bring them. Actually, I have to get one more button. This is what we did on Bo for the pregnancy shoot and I wanted to show people. So I'm gonna take the, she's gonna, oh. Can you just flash up? I did. Okay, cool. And it's like the one time I'm wearing like a nude colored bra. <laughs> like I'm always wearing a swimsuit type bra. It's okay, it's summer. But for Bo, we had, um, Oh, wait, sorry. Because I'm like, how did I do this on her? So if you're pregnant, you're going to do the top button here. And then we... Jeez. <laughs> and then we're going to take the back one. Is this an ad for, like, Pilates? <laughs> and Apps then, by SLG. So you're going to see that you button it in the back here. Wait, did Bo... I think Bo had her... I'm pretty sure Bo did not have her like lovely pregnant belly. Yeah, but no, no, no. We were showing people how if oh, you buttoned so it in cool. the back, right? So Bo was pregnant and she had her little belly sticking out here and it so was cute. really cute. And, um, you know, or you could wear it completely. Um, Do you want me to have a clip, yeah? All right. 
we're not going to do this again. So we're not going to face you guys again. But what's great about this top is it has a lot of different options to it. And the other option being if you're wearing something higher, that you can just grab it here in the back and then twist it up, knot it, and then put it up underneath. And so then from the side, you've got this look, and then this, and then this from the front. So you can look leaner by obviously tucking it in, or you can do this little spread here, and, and then that Amy, works. What size are you wearing in the Sam? So I wear a 27 in the Sam jean. And you can see, like, she's in the 24, I'm in the 27. So mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is the amount of give. But when things are really oversized, clearly, if someone wanted this to have a more fitted look, which I've seen on people, and it looks lovely, um, you can really size down. And if I sized up one, it really wouldn't make that big of a difference mm -hmm. either. Totally. Yeah. Court. Come on, friend. She's here. <laughs> God, it's <laughs> We're going to start charging. I will not be unbuttoned. No, yeah. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm wearing our Dahlia Dahlia, Dahlia Coupe, Coupe, Coupe. 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 Um, dress from spring. It's a uh, little strappy guy up here with our suede bomber um, over it, which is also on sale. The sale's so good. <laughs> so good. Um, what size? You're wearing a I'm wearing a small, small in the bomber and an eight in the in dress, the um, and it's really it's super versatile. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big fan of our denim jacket, so I'd probably pair it back to that. I as know well. I was thinking about yeah. that, but I wanted to obviously like speak to the oh, symbol. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, also like you know this could easily pair back to like. Um, Do I put that on? Sure. Yeah. To our lovely linen car coat. Liam, which is on sale. Yeah, which is also great. And this is a nice transitional piece too. Like you can wear it with like totally. a sweater during the fall, which is great. Um, I would probably take a small on this as well. Um, I tend to, I do a rubber band trick on my arm and I um, take like a black hair tie and scrunch up the sleeves on most of our jackets, especially like sometimes even my steward blazers, like just so they're constantly up. Um, but I love this dress. I will be wearing it probably transitionally into the fall. Totally. My best friend's getting married in August, and um, so not a lot of white until that happens, but then after. <laughs> um, I know, I recently yeah. found myself, like, wearing, I mean, I'm wearing all white. <laughs> like, you can't, I can't even, like, go to something casual yeah. that's associated with someone's wedding yeah. in white. Like, no. So, but yeah. they're good then, because then you can stock up on the good white pieces and, and if you are See getting married, them. yeah, um, even also, better. It's a great shower dress. Um, great. I mean, I'd get married in it. Yeah. Stella would get married in it. Yeah. So and I think, you know, what's, what we also love about yeah. this car coat is um, the lapel yeah. that is detached. And so, you know, it just offers a little bit more versatility, I think, to the look. Um, you can yeah. even, like, make it more of, like, a one shoulder. Which is like very, very really fashion cool. yes. and very cool. But I still think like totally wearable and achievable. Yeah. You don't um, feel like it's like falling off. Yeah, because you're yeah. literally strapped, strapped in. <laughs> we just all were in LA together, so forgive For us. Ten days. So we're still in the same mind mind waves. I mean Teddy and I weren't he doesn't even know. I'm pretty waves. sure mind waves is not a word. Not mind wave what is it? Brain waves. <laughs> brain waves. Brain waves. Same frame, frame of mind. Same. Um right. all right, that's it. Cool. Thanks. 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 And then while we wait for the next look, Sarah, can you talk quickly about the sizing for the double-waisted denim? Someone's asking about oh, the gray. I sure can. Funny you should ask because I was wearing them this morning until... It's the same size. It's the same size, though, guys. It's not... It literally doesn't change. Um, the double waistband is really more of a styling element than it is like for security. Like mm -hmm. you're not supposed to wear it up any higher because there's two waistbands. You're literally yeah. supposed to wear it as is. This is how I wear it. And I, because I love that element, I normally belt the lower waistband or I put in two belts um, just to really take it there. But yes, the double waisted skirt and Sam jeans fit the same way as 
the fundamentals that you know, love, and have in your closet. So I would literally consider the same sizing that you already take. Beautiful. Thank cool. you. Cool. I'm going to pop out so you two can. Okay. I'll do Chris in the jumpsuit. Okay. Right. Come on up. You guys know our artist in residence, Chris, who's our product development person. I don't know. What do you call <laughs> the person. Um, so this is your pick. Yes. This is a great jumpsuit. I would like to call this a get everything done outfit. Yeah. Because I'm one of those people who after work like to go for a run and like throw something on, go run errands. This is something I would throw over. And it's a lot of room, so whatever you got underneath, anything can be fine. Um, and then, like, I probably keep on my running socks and then, like, throw, some, throw on something more comfortable, these slippers. So this one really, to me, is a 12 mower as well because we were wearing it in February mm -hmm. with, like, a big blazer and a pair of boots. And when we wore it with boots, sometimes, like, doing a wide cuff on it was really, really chic. And then I think because it's so nice and off the body, mm -hmm. it's really like, it doesn't matter how hot it is out there. Yeah, you know, not at all. Because I was on the subway the other night and it, and it was like 80 degrees outside, well, 75 degrees outside, but in the subway it was so much hotter and I was absolutely fine. And that, and you layered it with a t-shirt under it, which yeah. like gives it a more casual vibe, but then obviously like you just wear it however. But I do want to say for those of you guys who have never tried our jumpsuits, this is one that I promise you, so many of you guys are going to kick yourselves for for not getting it. It's like, it's just, it's a really special piece that isn't so special that you can't wear it all the time. And when something really like straddles that, that's really cool because you can still mm -hmm. go to the grocery store and people totally. are like what are you doing yeah. and it's one of those pieces where if you do get tired after a year like for me i'm a painter so yeah. this would probably be ending up in my studio and i wear it every day yeah yeah, yeah. great and sorry come look so what size are you wearing Chris? i am wearing a zero okay and so you're wearing a zero so like in the sam jean what size do you wear in the sam jean in the sam jean i wear a 24. okay yeah Great. And then what I just want to show you guys too on this, if you want, you can even like uh, make it a little bit looser or tighter, but not that much because it really is meant to be quite square mm -hmm. on the body there. There's um, like these belt loops here where if you did put on a belt, you could like. Can I? Yeah, hold on. I want to see what that's like with the belt. Oh, yeah. Where did my. Can I borrow your belt? And then, Chris, did you say how tall you were? Thanks for asking. Five I remember four. you just She's ripped four. my belt off. <laughs> um, I just want to see how this looks belted. Because I know when I did it one time in my closet, I was like, eh. But I don't usually wear a belt to cinch something up. I wear it usually more as a like. Because I know what bothered me is it was not in line with. This. So if mm -hmm. you're going to wear a belt, it's more like you're wearing the belt as an accessory rather than something mm -hmm. to change the functionality of it. It's more like I like it with a belt, but when you do it, you're, you have to wear it down low because you'll see, if you'll come up a little bit closer, we've got a seam here. So if you try and use the belt to cinch, that seam is, I mean, it's likely to bother you. It may not, but... But I love it with the belt. Mm -hmm. But it's just it just becomes an accessory. It's not changing the physicality of the I don't think that's a real thing either what I just said, but anyways. It makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Um, so right. I have a wedding to go to in Chicago and this is absolutely at the top of my wedding list. Um, I did not adjust the straps yet, so I'm going to because it's riding up a little bit high. But the straps are adjustable. But the straps are adjustable, which is really, really good. Um, I will be wearing a strapless bra with it, not this bra that I had on earlier, which for the record, for those of you that I just flashed, I am wearing, <laughs> like I'm, I got a bra on. So what I want to show you are two different things here. So I am wearing this in a very casual vein. So if I'm going to the wedding, I'm not going to wear the Ameri sandals. If I am though, like let's pretend that I'm on vacation, I would walk around with the sandals and I'm gonna grab, this is um, our men's slim shirt here. This is not on sale guys. Um, this is uh, 
he is graduating into Woofs. Yay! He has been Getting his graduation papers. But a lot of you guys write to me and you ask me, how can I cover up my arms? It's hot out, but I, you know, I want to still cover my arms. And this is a great way to do it. So I've got the shirt tied in the back the way you saw me do it on the plaid. And now I am running around and I've turned this into a shirt jacket. I'm also going to show you that other trick that I tried with the bra on, which didn't go over so well. But if I grab the two buttons at the bottom here, now I'm going to button them up. Now you're going to see how this creates this. And in the front, it almost creates like a feeling like a shrug. And I think this is a little bit better than me showing my stomach and the bra. Now, one other thing I want to show you very quickly, do you mind handing me the black blazer then? Is um, by now, I am sure 90% of you guys have any of our black blazers, but when I go to the wedding, this is the full outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So I'm going to wear the nude sandal and then one of the blazers. I wear the blazers over the shoulder. I don't ever put my arms through it when I'm like dancing. <laughs> I'm not going to dance like that. I'm going to be with my mom and dad. Um, and then I'm just going to wear a nude shoe. So there you go. Maybe I'll throw on. I'll throw on. Yeah. And then one big ass donut. Very cool. There you go. And then someone asked if that scintilla jersey fabric has any stretch. No, it doesn't. Um, but it's not like body conscious. Yeah, it's it's not body conscious, and it's um, so I'm wearing the size four, and this is a straight cut. It is not a bias cut. So when you have a straight cut, what it means is if it were bias cut, it would look like, you know. It would, it would be twerking on me right now. So it is a straight cut, which I find very easy to wear, mm -hmm. um, which means you're gonna have room here. And then for me, a size four guy, so you saw the size 427 in the uh, Sam Jean, how really big and roomy it is, right? It was meant to be that way. So this body here, this is a size four, but it's not meant to be super big and roomy. So you can see like, you can, like here's my body underneath it, right? So this is not falling off of me. So I'm a size four in this dress and it looks like this as intended. And then in the earlier Sam Jean, it was like really nice and all swimming. And then if you're wearing that dress in the light blue color, what color pairings are you leaning toward? The same. The same. Yeah, yeah I really did this to wear like with I think it's very chic. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there oh, you there go. We go. More. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing the black and then the nude sandal for the event. Perfect. You know, when we design multiple colors in a collection, it really is meant so that those colors can be worn with the same things because you're kind of designing to a tone and a feeling for mm -hmm. the season. So you wouldn't have like this and then like this only goes with like a taupe color or whatever. What I, for me personally, would be unlikely to wear with it is I'd be unlike, I would be unlikely, I don't know, maybe I would. Maybe if I wore a white tuxedo blazer, I think I'd maybe go into a black shoe just to have something like mm -hmm. stronger somewhere on the body. Yeah, I'd probably go in, I mean, I would personally wear like a black loafer or a brogue or yeah. like a derby shoe. To a wedding? Yeah. But like, that's me. Yeah. Sarah. <laughs> okay, so what do you got? Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to call out the crepe gauze pieces. So we have this skirt in white, black, yellow with a matching top. But again, I just wanted to talk about like my all white looks for summer. So this is another piece that I definitely will be rotating more frequently. And I'm actually literally going to wear it just as I am, not with the jean, but with the same outfit. Um, so again, that's why I kind of feel like this epaulette tee really is more of a woof. Um, and maybe that soon will be added to fundamentals, but don't quote me on that. And um, just in terms of these pieces in particular, what I love about the crepe gauze is that the lining comes out. And so it, you can actually make it a bit more sheer for those of you that or maybe wearing it over a bathing suit or you know want to wear it over some colored 
underwear or slip like I'm actually wearing this top is a little bit sheer and so I'm actually wearing a like neon red bralette underneath that I think just like gives it a little bit of color and it's very soft and I you know again this is pretty sheer and so I might do like a full coverage bodysuit underneath this full look or bathing suit and then Karen's also wearing a white dress, so she's gonna come speak to that. Hey everyone, so I'm wearing the Tulip dress, which is currently on sale. Mm -hmm. um, in sale time, the kind of like position that I like to take is, when I buy full price, I'm technically usually buying like fundamentals, wolves, things I'm gonna wear all year round, and I'm happy to invest in them. But kind of at sale time, I wanna have a bit more fun and inject some curiosity into my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a perfect dress for that because you know, it's going to take me to events, but it's also going to be able to, as I've done here, throw on a jacket and I can wear it to work or throw on a sweater. And it looks like it's just like this really beautiful skirt with pockets. It just sounds so lovely. I love the accent. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but Amy, you wanted to speak to this dress with the shoulders specifically. Yeah, so um, you're wearing the size four, okay. And we definitely want you in like, I, I think I would put you in a zero. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you guys how I know she's going to be a zero is each size down is going to take out about an inch and I'm pulling two inches total, right? So an inch here and an inch here. So that's going to go down. Now, what I found is that um, your waist is a little bit longer than me, especially mm -hmm. when you get into the zero. It's the fact that you're a zero yeah. and you have this waist. Yeah. Um, for me, the measure, the, uh, the dress fit like I was gaping a mm, little bit here. Mm. So on you, it's just hitting, because you're longer waist and in a smaller size, it's gonna hit perfectly, yeah, is what right. I'm saying. Yeah. For for me, with my measurement here, um, it was a trickier fit. So I think that that's one that, um, you know, if you've got any bit of a longer waist, this dress is like absolutely perfect for you for sure and if you have this dress in any of the Italian sporty nylons it's going to fit exactly the same so and this is yeah. when it fits 99% of the people one of the reasons too and, and this is how um, difficult fits can be sometimes one of the reasons why um, you see I have very narrow sloping shoulders they're super super narrow like off the charts narrow like my mom must have had the easiest childbirth, although I have a huge head. Um, but what happens is you have shoulders that's keeping everything up. Mm -hmm. And so for me, because of my shoulders, when I put this down, everything collapses right. and then I collapse right here. Right. And it's all because of my, my super, super narrow mm. shoulders. So this is another dress too, that maybe if your torso is not long, but you do have the shoulders normal to hold shoulders up. yeah and it'll hold kind of yeah. the whole structure of the dress will be held up exactly yeah exactly it's like the, it's like when i put it on it's like you're holding it from the top when you put it on it's like literally on a hanger yeah right and so you yeah. yeah you hey thank You're you hanger. bye guys okay um so i am wearing one of the other favorites here this is the sweatshirt with the cutout neck okay. and um so just to let you guys know for sizing here I'm wearing an extra small because that's all we had here. Normally I would have grabbed a small, but if someone had thrown this over to me and told me it was a small, I would have believed them. Mm -hmm. You know, like the difference is just not that great, especially when you've got these like really easy pliable things that can just, you know, be pushed up really easily on the arms. You're not going to like be dipping everything into your food when you're eating. One of the things for sure that I love when I'm wearing a sweatshirt and jeans is when we talk about chill modern classic, if I don't have the belt on, and certainly if I were wearing like a sneaker with it, this on its own gets a little too like chill, chill, chill for me. And I feel more balanced when I've got chill modern classic. So this belt here just adds like that extra level of refinement that's like, mm -hmm. I'm not just running around in a sweatshirt and a pair of jeans. I'm actually super refined. And then what size belt are you wearing? Oh shit, I don't know. Oh, the small medium. Okay, and that can sit lower on your waist and higher up? The, yeah, the small medium, well, okay, so the small medium was designed to sit lower. So what I'm gonna show you is, 
if I take it and wear it up higher, actually I did give enough buttons in this to do it, but even if I wanted to give myself a super duper wedge, then I would just do the thing where I'm gonna fold it under like that and then loop it through and then create a little bit of a different look. Jenny in the warehouse tried this out and she sent me a note saying you are totally high in this, but anyways, I'm not high. You are chic though. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I like it knotted up. Uh, but yeah, we do air the belt right now a little bit longer because that's the mood that we're in. But I wouldn't say it's a forever mood. Yeah. That bra looks really good with that. It does. I thought it would show half yeah. Nice. Had to wear my, nice. my I like it. neon. Um, so something that we are craving for the season has been just like a pop of color, but in a more like unexpected way. So like what you guys have seen, especially with summer, is we have like very core classic neutral colors, and then like the orange um, metallic Rudolph that Sella was wearing. And so what I really love about shopping sale in addition to my like have to have it's kind of when i'm gonna go for the pieces that i know i'll have for a while like my whoops but maybe like the price point isn't what i could have afforded previously or um it's something that maybe i've been waiting on back and um, back and forth and so you know the crepe gauze skirt was definitely one of those pieces for me um but like I said about the white, the black, I also feel like it's super versatile, especially because it has a pocket. Um, so honestly, I mean, I'm wearing it with my Vans, but that's really just to tone down the outfits. And if I was wearing, if I was going to something a bit more formal, I'd probably lose the bralette and put on a Julia sandal and ditch the necklaces so that there's just like really one key point of interest um, and I think to have something that feels more luxury. And I would say for me, if I were on vacation, I would wear all this. I would probably throw a shirt on, mm -hmm. and then I'm probably just wearing an easy sandal with totally. it. And that's what totally. I would like if I were in Spain or some place mm -hmm. fabulous. What is the name of this? Asymmetrical. That's the soft drape square neck cami. Soft drape square neck cami. Um, I'm wearing a size four in both of these. Um, the skirt I have kind of just tied in the back it's like literally with a hair tie it's my personal trick but um this top I also love at least on me in a it's a bit more of a tunic so I might wear something that you know is a little bit shorter and a little bit slimmer on the bottom to really like highlight that tunic shape maybe like a bike short or something depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing but um, yeah, I really think that sale is when you can shop for those have-to-haves, the pieces that are in and out that offer that versatility, but maybe um, weren't, you weren't sure about them, and yeah. yeah. Okay, so the last one here, I'm going to just show you the baby tee on me so you can get, we saw it on Teddy, I am 5'5", five five, not 6'2". <laughs> um, so... Like I said, this has, it is applied with the Lycra. So it is, it is so substantial. And you can tell this too, because honestly, when I go like this, you can see how it bounces back. And if you had a regular cashmere tee that was not applied with Lycra, then it would not do that. Who the fuck does those stupid things? What are those? Like, stop. Douche. All right. Anyways. Um, I just want to show you guys too again this is really pretty here with the browns so really within the whole entire season whether it's things that you bought for fall things that you're looking at from summer from spring and resort and then the new summer mm -hmm. it all goes back together totally. really nicely this is really chic together i love the pop of red i mean that totally. wore I mean, in the beginning I mean, with the white belt yeah, yeah i mean this i've been wearing for a while and I totally love the play on browns and play on neutrals, yeah. um, especially how Stella did it with the greens as well. But Very I think cool. um, I think there's a lot to offer in the sale. There like, is, run, and so um, yeah. 
Yeah. It's all good. It's good. It's really good. And um, and then whatever you get, rest assured, when fall comes around, you'll be able to wear it with fall as well. Oh, 100%. Because that's how we think and we design, like as if it's our own closet, which it is. Um, all right, guys, so DM me a million questions. If you have any, I will try and um, answer as much as I can. And happy shopping. I hope that you get some really good stuff. But remember, don't go crazy and waste money. Like, be very strategic. Your woofs, your in and outs. Um, make it good. Make it worthwhile. And make it so that you're not angry later on. But you won't be. I mean, like, no matter what, you won't be. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good um, later afternoon. We're really hungry. Okay. Bye, guys. We're still live. Derek, help. Okay. Oh, there we go.